So yesterday we got the beta release of Charged Levels into Prodigy, but we also got the beta release of the new Member Jar update. This beta release was a lot more common, many accounts got it, but my main account didn't. So I'm playing on this account that is a non-member account, and in this video I'm just going to go through and do some battles while I talk about all of the notes that I've collected on this update over the past day, and just talk about everything you need to know about the new member jar update. You probably do have this, since many accounts do, but again my main account does not yet, so it is still in beta testing. So let's go ahead and talk about this new update and the exciting changes it brings to the game. So of course, when you end a battle, usually in Prodigy, if you are a member, you get to open a member chest or non-member chest, and you get special rewards from there, extra prizes, and if you are a non-member, you get to open the non-member chest, and you have bonus stars added up into your jar, into the member jar. Well, this is completely different as of this update. You see that right now, that is just an example. This is what it looks like now, and this is how we get to that point. I'm going to explain that now. So, when you are a non-member, and I don't know about members since my member account does not have it, for non-members, at least right now, there are two sets of rewards, the free rewards and the member rewards. The member rewards are set off, in a yellow section while the free rewards are smaller off to the side. So you can check both. You can check the member rewards and free rewards when you get them. So the rewards are completely randomized across each battle. With the member jar, you can receive more battle stars, more gold, more items, and more currency. Currency includes the elemental currencies like florins, yars, that sort of thing, and copper coins. And these rewards add up the more battles you do inside of the member jar. And the more, yes, the more battles you do, the more you will receive, and that does add up. So, battle chest items have also come back, but in a completely different way. They aren't like gear items anymore that are obtainable, but these are more throwables and like uh, items items. These are the items that you would receive, and sometimes they appear in the member section, sometimes they appear in the free section. This appears to be completely randomized right now, as member-only rewards sometimes appear in the free section, and plenty of non-member rewards appear in the members-only section. The following is a list of the items that I have found in Battle Chest, well, as part of these, uh, rewards so far because as of this there is no battle chest i don't think so as of right now this is what i have found morph marble my style that is not new it's just still in there i believe morph marble brawl is still there too so we get rainbow works rainbow works can appear in there so can fireworks tomatoes confetti paint balloon pudding cup, and then we have a whole bunch of morph marbles. Morph marbles are a common thing here. So we have morph marble aquaster, morph marble tall fern, morph marble tribeak, and morph marble flaria. All four of those are the original morph marbles that can be bought in the potion shop in Lamplight Town. So those have been added. Then the next set of morph marbles includes the pumpkin fest morph marbles, which is kind of surprising, but those are morph marble squally, morph marble cloaker, morph marble lumiot, morph marble spectral. So all of those have been found. Also the morph marble pianoi, I don't think I said that. All five of those can be found from pumpkin fest now in these member rewards or non-member rewards because again it is randomized so that is really cool and then you can also receive the morph marble brown hamster and morph marble pile of books which were previously only obtainable in the academy archives so that's pretty cool that those can be found here now and you can also get morph marble truckles 
and Morph Marble Bitbots, and those were those were current, previously unobtainable because they were from Harmony Island only, but now they have been added here, which is really cool. And I think that this means that the Morph Marble Ruin Bat is probably there as well. I would assume because that was the other Harmony Island exclusive Morph Marble, but it has not been found yet. By, well, some, well, I haven't found it yet, so I don't know if it's there, but I think we can assume it is since it's the third of the Harmony Island Morph Marbles. So a lot of Morph Marbles in here, that's a pretty common theme, Morph Marbles to be in these member and non-member rewards. I think that is really good. So let's talk some more about these. I'm sure there are more items than this, yes. And I don't, but I don't think there are really any much more than what I've listed off here. Just the Morph Marble Ruin Bat, probably. The only other Pumpkin Fest Morph Marble is the Morph Marble Bat Swarm, but I don't think that would be in there because that was like a really, uh, it's a rare exclusive one. So I don't think that's going to appear in here, but we'll have to see. So it appears that you are more likely to get items the more battles you complete and the farther you fill up your jar, but that is certainly not always the case because you are not guaranteed to receive items every battle. As you can see in some of the battles that I've been doing, I'm not getting items, I'm just getting currencies and gold and that sort of thing. No items, so that is quite possible. You can receive no item, and that does happen plenty of times. Also, the items that show up, they don't always show their correct rarities on the results screen. Rainbow works and paint balloons, they show up as uncommon when they are actually rare, so that's just an example of some of the weird things that I've seen with that. And so now let's talk about the jar becoming full. When you collect a lot of items, the jar will become full. It will give the message that the items you have collected will become lost forever. That's been showing on my screen the entire time, but it does not stop. A start at that, sorry. It starts at a, a em empty jar that just keeps adding to it after a bunch of battles. Like, it, it does not go up very fast. You have to do a bunch of battles. And my jar became full at 1,755 battle stars, 4,000 gold, 29 items, and 416 currency. That is the member jar. That is what was piled up inside of the member jar. Not the free rewards. The free rewards you get to keep no matter what. But once that jar becomes full, you can. it still shows that you're getting the items, but they aren't added to the jar. It like stops them from being added. And you've been seeing that at the end of the battles right here, like just right now or soon, they bounce off the top and they just stop. I think that the items would be completely randomized since um, you don't get the items every time. But I think if I had to guess the amount that the jar that made the jar full, I would think it's the gold because that was exactly 4,000. But I don't know. We'll have to. That that doesn't really make add up too much because you get different amounts of gold for different types of battles. But anyway, as of right now, I do not know how long the jar stays full and member wards can't be received. The jar just stays full if you log out or anything like that. It doesn't provide a timer, so I don't know. It could be days, hours, well, it's past hours by now, so it could be days, could be a month. I have no idea. There is no timer, though. So this is what I've collected so far on this update. It can be subject to change as it's released more into mainstream Prodigy. Well, it pretty much already is, just some accounts don't have it like my main, unfortunately, which also doesn't have the charged levels. I'm quite upset about that. Not really upset, but I know it'll come soon. Hopefully it is released to all accounts soon, this member jar update. I think it is really cool and adding so many different items that can be obtainable through the member and non-member rewards it's awesome like seeing 
all these um, throwables, such as the paint balloons, rainbow works, tomatoes, all those, those were really cool to find. And then seeing all the morph marbles, it's an, a crazy amount of morph marbles in there, and I love it. Um, I'm, I'm just surprised that pretty much every pumpkin fest morph marble got added. It's a weird thing to, for them to have done, but I'm perfectly okay with it. I mean, you get the morph marbles. I already have the maximum amount already on my main account, but it is a great system and adding the archives wheel, um, uh, morph marbles was also kind of strange. I'm not sure if that has any implications for the archives wheel at all, making the items obtainable in another way. We'll have to see. Maybe the archives wheel will get changed? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I really want it to. Anyway, this is this situation that we've got going on right now. The new member jar update and the new free and member rewards section. So, what are your thoughts on this whole new update? Do you have it? What do you think of the new look for the member jar and the prizes inside? I think it looks great. What do you think about the new items that can be gotten through the rewards? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.